plugged in the ad trap and uh, it was definitely really easy. We've got two network jacks right there to and from your router power cable. Now you'll see that there's a USB and a micro USB on the left there. And then on the front we've got uh, LED indicators on the right is the power and on the left is uh, your network activity. It's been on for about four hours so I'm going to go upstairs and uh, show you how it's working. All right the ad trap is set up in the basement. I went ahead before this video, logged into this for the first time, make sure it pulled up, and it sure did. It asked me for my username and password, which the default is admin and the password is password. Uh, when you first log in, it makes you uh, go ahead and change that, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're logging into the control panel here at the default address shown above. Now, uh, the first thing, you'll see, first thing you'll see is the dashboard, and you'll see how long the device has been running, how much free space is on it, how many ads it's blocked, the real-time uh, ads that it's blocking, where the networks are coming from, like the, you know, the top networks where all these ads are coming from. And uh, to let you know, this thing does work. Now, uh, I'll go through some of these features, but uh, I currently disabled the ad trap. Now, I did that remotely, and I'll show you that in a moment, but this has a firewall feature, which I thought was really interesting and awesome. The operating system is Linux. It's open, so if you want, you can actually change this, I think, in the future. I think they will eventually res you know, release a source code for it. This is the uh, the general function. This is where I disabled the ad trap from working. And it has a function for allowed websites or blocked websites. Pretty cool. Shows you which ones are blocked. Um, you can get real time reports. Show you what's going on. One of the things here, and I'm not going to click on it because it takes forever, is the ad visualizer. All the ads that have been blocked will actually pull up and show you like a montage of what's been blocked. So if you want to see how much goofy stuff which would have popped on your screen. So that's some of the features, and uh, again, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the ad trap anywhere allows you to download uh, software for the iOS. Hopefully uh, Android will be uh, coming soon. You can enable remote control basically with that. And then you can also uh, change your password. Change me. You can change your username too. Uh, all right. Well, without further ado, I pulled up two ad heavy sites. Uh, this one I just typed in like free games and it pulled up uh, this goofy site. And, um, you know, you go to stuff, says you get like 13,000 different uh, download me now buttons and things like that. Pretty awesome. So, again, just soak up all the awesome advertisements here. I'll just click on something. And we got an advertisement there and there. And this also works with like uh, um, YouTube and things like that. You'll see skip ads, things like that. You know, skip this video. Okay, so now we'll go ahead, go into our general section, enable the ad trap. It's been enabled. And now we'll go ahead and try to find a free space here. Hit reload. The advertisement on top immediately went away, and the page just loads super fast. This is gone. That is really scary. No advertisement. We're back to the late 90s. Heck, we're back to the mid 90s. Pages have text. 
I'm able to click on hyperlinks and I don't see a bunch of garbage popping up all over the place. All right, now we'll go ahead and reload this. To me, this is, is as significant as the spam filter was. You know, we used to get spam like crazy. And then spam filters came. So this is an advertisement filter. Nothing is popping up. So, there you go. That's the ad trap. Would I get one? Yeah, I got one. But uh, would I suggest you get one? Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure eventually they're going to figure out how to get around all this. But the ad trap updates itself, and you can go out there and tell it to get updates. Um, so, it's pretty cool. Uh, works really well. Easy to set up and fairly inexpensive for what it does. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Check out uh, my new videos. I've also got a new channel I just opened up. It's called Let's Play with Technology Cost. I'll be posting uh, gaming uh, Let's Plays. So I'll be playing games from the past, future, well, not the future, but uh, games from today, and uh, and talk about games from in the future and uh, what I think about things. But mainly just commentary about uh, old games and I'll take requests. Anyway, thanks for watching. Technology Cost. Out.